Hello everybody, and welcome to the last episode of a Grim Fandango playthrough. Now that I said that, I mean, definitely will be, even if I have to go a bit overtime to do it, but I don't think I should. I think, th think we've managed to get all the stuff uh, done that we needed to get done in order to finish this up. So let's get to the casino and go meet Hector. Going here. Hi, Calivio. I can't remember the last time I had access to a men's room. You're a skeleton. What? Never mind. So much of this stuff doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, uh, check this out. We got Meche down here. See if Mitch has figured out. Oh, and let you guys recognize that suit, that short guy. Mitch, I'd like to like to talk to her. Buenos dias. Back off, sleaze baller. My husband here will bust your jaw. It's me, Mitch. It's me, Manny. That's some costume. Here, help me get Mr. High Roller here into this sheet so we can get out of here. What? Here. Hey, is that you, young lady? I'll get you. Okay, now what? Ah. I'm going to punt this twerp the first chance I get. Not funny. Help! This is where Hector rips off the oh, people to board to go upstairs. Loud. <laughs> okay, what are you gonna do now? Back. Weren't you gonna do young something lady. now that I got the sheet on him? Hey! You must be patient, my kitten. Uh, I'll escort you to your party just as soon as my system pays off here. Oh, he's working another gambling system. Of course he is. The cheat. Hola! No drinks for me, thanks. Alright, well... Also, uh, you guys see this guy here? Something strange is going on under that raincoat. So anyway, did you find out where... Oh, well, whatever. Hey, what's going on under that raincoat? I don't know. What's going on under that makeup? Agent Calavera? You? Didn't Salvador chop you in half early this evening? Yes, which has given me this glorious opportunity to serve the cause by gathering funds for the LSA while stealing from my arch enemy at the same time. What exactly are you doing with these slot machines? I stick myself inside like a finger down the throat of Hector Limons himself, and I make the machine regurgitate the wealth it has devoured. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that's what we gotta do. As soon as his system pays off, he says, right? So, eh, here, let me give you a hand with that. Funny idea, just to throw uh, a sheet on him. Why do you want to get him into a sheet? I told him there was a big toga party at the Casino Romano, but he had to wear this sheet to get in. After he changes, you take his suit and go upstairs. Get it? Hmm, you're trickier than I thought. Okay. Also, it's a bit weird. Sorry, I need to pause to silence all the noise you guys noticing that what in the previous sections of this game would have been dialogue options is now just triggered by me talking to them over and over again like i feel again i've said this like five or six times at this point but the ending seems rushed which seems to be a common thing common theme with a lot of point and click adventure games and lucas arts adventure games in particular the ending to monkey island 3 also a preview on this channel felt rushed to me um i mean monkey island games in general are notorious for their sometimes weird sometimes very abrupt endings but then yeah like i said it's a theme with this kind of game let's do this not go. again i'll get you what a loser uh, Special assignment just Not in funny. from Salvador. 
crack that machine and leave the chain oh, right away. Yes, sir! Oh, for crying out loud. Ah! Help! Hey! Gah! Funny. I did it! My system worked! I knew it! I told you! That's great! Now let's go so you can buy me a drink at the Romano. I'll meet you at the train station with the tickets. There won't be one from me, so you'll have to go back by yourself. I'll tell that gatekeeper everything. He has to help us. Come, my lovely. I have another infallible system I'd like to demonstrate. Ow. Creep. Alright. Little tight in the shoulders, but at least it doesn't reek of sled dog. Okay, so. We gotta. Oh, here's another funny little bit of foreshadowing that we had earlier on you guys remember when we talked to this purple guy last time uh his one purpose one skill one desire was to operate elevators and that's what he's doing now how do i get over here hey buddy i'm here to conduct business with hector lamans i just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me you know hector lamans huh eh? hockey ducky then answer me this one simple question Okay, how many casinos does Hector Lamans own? I still don't entirely know how this puzzle works. These three numbers were the ones visible last time, so I assume that he just randomly picks uh, a number that just appeared. Since five is the one that just appeared, I'm gonna choose that one. Five? Yeah, well, that was an easy one. Too okay. bad, I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess with me. I know Hector Lamont. All right. And speaking of loose ends. Celso Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lamont's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you, if you don't mind me asking? Is this your wife? Is this your wife, Celso? Yes, we've just returned from a lovely cruise. Well, it became lovely once I caught up with you, my little tamale. So what happened? What happened to the other guy? The other guy that she was with? All right. I'm your travel agent. Oh, I have a travel agent already. But he's miles away mopping floors in an automat, so I suppose the position is open. All right, well, I guess I work for Hector then. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Eh, uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. <laughs> what can you tell me about these double-end tickets? This price seems much more than double. So here's what I'm thinking, right? At this point, we are discussing potentially selling him a double-end ticket. Now, I don't know if this guy was one of the people who was robbed, but if he buys back his own double-end ticket, that shouldn't get him in trouble, right? Like, they shouldn't put him on the hell train. Anyway, let's let's do some, some business talk. <laughs> it's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. Ho, ho, ho. Don't try any of that tricky reverse psychology on me, my friend. Well, darn, you saw right through it. Well, they cost a mint because they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? The real question is, don't you feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it, but are the tickets worth it? What exactly are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is rainy from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money.
<laughs> well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. <laughs> Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... Hmm. I wonder if I can just say all of these things. This makeup breathes about as much as vulcanized rubber. Yes, but it brings out your strong jaw. I can't raise my arms in this suit. Well, let's just hope no one pulls a gun on you tonight, huh? Yeah, I'm afraid that's not gonna go well. Anyway, this is the solution here. I just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself, so... Well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent. The little lady changed your mind, eh? No. Actually, it was your agent over there. Uh, 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 of course. He's one of my best. <laughs> well, come on in. Let's chat, shall we? Ah, still got it. I could have tried to knock on Hector's door before, but we wouldn't have been able to go in for some reason. I don't remember. This is how we get him to see us in private. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what spell you cast on the Flores couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. Oh, well, this well. This could be your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours, too. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr. My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. <laughs> oh, but Mr. Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the compost pile. I... Struggling. Oh boy. Hello? Pigeons? Friends now? <laughs> What's what do you think the odds are that he survived that, huh? Okay, so how do we solve this? We need to uh, we need to raise the leg to get onto the other side. I think using that old gargle as a structural support for Glamour Girl here was a bad idea. Yeah, it's got a crack in it, see? So, I think what we do here is use this. Well, so much for my third arm. Okay, that used up all the bone. And then we use this and pour it in. Bingo. Well, it was gonna happen eventually. Watching Chihuahua. Uh, 
That one must be yours. Don't forget to send for help. Gladys. Get in, quick. We were supposed to have coverage back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. Hola, Manuel. Hi, Sal. Time for you to swing, Daddy O. Let's see you walk. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. The double-crossing bitch. What? You know, you really have bad taste in men. No, I have a taste for really bad men. There's a difference. God damn. First Max, and now Hector, yep. You know, that was always a little... Always a little two-faced, I suppose, when you think about it. So her entire thing is that she's this... Like, hep, revolutionary... Like, support the, support the lowly person girl, but then she was dating all the bigwigs. Yeah. I just hope it doesn't come back to bite her in the, in the in the end, right? Remember what Lola said about her improving her taste in men. She loves me. She loves me not. Well, you're half right. <laughs> oh, Manny, so cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I died. Knew it. I see. <laughs> I guess Domino is right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. And by that same <laughs> logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole double-end tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them, but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. <laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour, because that idiot Bowsley ran off with all their fast-acting Sproutella. Then slow stuff will sprout you, but it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. Manny! Where are you going? You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> Get it? Leave! <laughs> All right, well, can we just tear it off? I'd claw it out, but I don't. Have the strength. Ugh. This is what happened to Lola, right? She ended up lying up there in that lighthouse for who knows how long. Uh, yeah. What she didn't have is a spray can of liquid nitrogen. Ah! Ah. Gracias, Toto Santos. Come on, shake it for me, baby. One of you must be mine. <sighs> I would have been very surprised, Olivia, if you actually had a double end ticket waiting for you. All right, let's just quietly sneak up back here. 
Salvador? Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car, but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right. And tell Leva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. For when I bite this explosive tooth, the deadly cloud will sprout not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you... Hey, get out of there. Farewell, my friend. What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolución! <laughs> ah! He truly gave his body to the cause. Youch. It's probably one of my favorite bits of foreshadowing in the game, where Lola tells us that uh, if Olivia doesn't improve her taste in men, she'll end up just like she did. And uh, well, that certainly came true. The game does really good, a really good job at all of its foreshadowing. Actually, most of the things in this game are alluded to previously. Let's see what we got in here. Hey, my scythe. Well, what do you know? Sal had a ticket all along. That does not surprise me. Okay. And this also comes quite in handy for us because... It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. Yep. This is something that was also an important plot point, right? The double-end tickets seek out the souls of the people they belong to. Okay, gun in the trunk of the car. Locked. Key behind the greenhouse with Salvador's body. All right. Let's go find it. Very slowly. This is pretty gruesome, by the way, to just imagine that all of these, all these flowers are dead people. All right, here we go. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. No, 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 no. This way. No. Where is it? Where is it? Come on now. There, there we go. Got it. First time in the game a scythe was actually used for what it was meant for. This must be the key to Salvador's trunk. Got it. Okay. Let's get back down there. While we're musing about all this stuff, I'm trying to think about, about uh, Hector's plan, right? So... How many more tickets did he need to steal than one? Like, this is what I don't understand. I don't understand the entire plot. If all he ever wanted was to get out of this land, what's holding him back? As soon as he has the double end... I mean, we know, right? Because we've been to the end of the world and we saw what happens. We know that if you... Actually. I think maybe the problem wasn't that the tickets... So I'm, I'm thinking about the last devil train we saw, right? The one that went to hell. I think the problem wasn't that the tickets were stolen. It was that the tickets were not real. 
I wonder if it would have been possible for him to use a real ticket to get on the train and then make it into the land of the dead or into the, the ninth underworld without, you know, getting sent to hell for it. But then that still doesn't explain why he needed to steal more than one ticket. Like why, once he stole his first ticket, why didn't he just use it to leave? Because Domino seemed to think that they were staying here in the land of the dead because they found a way to make a profitable living. And I, th I guess there's also the thing right, that nobody really knows what's beyond the, the veil. Like, what even is the Ninth Underworld? Is it, is it really a land of eternal rest? Is it oblivion? Is it, you know, we don't know what it is. And a lot of times I imagine you would want to stick around in the world that you know, even if it's not perfect, then take a step into something that is unknown and only rumored to potentially be a better place, right? So that bit makes sense, why you would want to stay. What I don't understand is if he really wanted to leave, why didn't he just do it? I might have missed, I might have missed a plot point somewhere, but it seems to me like all he really needed to do was steal one ticket. Time to end this. Ah, yes. Lots of ammo. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. up the hill do anyway, it yeah looks like I can go up the hill good now we go over here and you can can shoot at him Olivia who's out there I'm the Grim Reaper lard ass and you're my next customer shouldn't you be a batch of posies by now Nice try. I thought when I first played this that this was a question of just waiting for him to get to the right place and then because Manny does actually shoot at the windows. See that? Come on, shorty. <laughs> but no, this doesn't work. This is just something to try and distract you. This is what we really got to do. This is the irrigation system that sends the water in to sprinkle his plants, right? Doesn't sound good.
You can count them if you want. They're all here. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. And, uh, demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, Manny, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assume I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. Give me a, give me a hug. <laughs> you were the best boss I ever had. Huh? Bye. <laughs> We made it! Manny? Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. So you might as well enjoy the trip. This is the first time I finished the uh, uh, the remaster. This is not the original end credits music, but it's pretty good. What a game! Wow, ending still feels rushed, but I really like the way it all closes out. All the the bits get wrapped up, you know. This is a really good story. You don't see a lot of that nowadays. Stories that are designed just to be a story. Everything seems to be designed to have, you know, franchises built around them. But this, this was a, a game that um, has a beginning and it has an end. It's just a... A full-on story that is all wrapped up. And it's still a really good one. Don't really have much else to say. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my commentary. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the series. I'll let the credits play here until the end. And if I ever decide to make another video series, I guess I'll see you then.
Thank you. 